All right, cool. So now for something completely different. Um, my name is Nate from AppSumbler, and we are helping developers like you become more successful by providing an easy way for people to find, try, and buy your software. Um, so what does that mean? Well, we do this with the SaaS in a box solution, which lets you host, sell, and promote your software with one click. So how many of you have software that you are selling as a hosted service today? One, two, three, okay. How many of you uh, are thinking about it, but you don't want to have to deal with all that stuff? A few more people, okay. So this is Roberto. Um, he's a developer of mine, which is a Django-based document management system. And his challenge in offering mine as a SaaS product is the hosting, the scaling, the billing, the payments, um, to things like subscription plans and trials. And then he has to promote his software and market it and find customers. This, is, this takes a lot of work. Uh, on the other side of the equation, you have Mary, the business user, um, who's been tasked with finding this document management system for her company. And the big shift in the software universe today is that today's developers like Roberto um, are assembling apps in the cloud using APIs, rather than pulling in a bunch of components, libraries. Um, so instead of building all this hosting, building infrastructure, promoting stuff from scratch, they're using these cloud-based services. Uh, and this is a huge time saver. Uh, it lets Roberto focus on you know, the core functionality of Mayan, um, and not on all these generic things that are common across all web applications. So this is great, but the problem is that for each of these services, there's, there's at least four or five options, which means that Roberto needs to do a lot of research to find out which of these cloud services is right for him. And then once he's figured out which one works, then he has to spend a lot of time servicing, uh, integrating that service with his app. So from my experience building web applications for dozens of clients, it might take a week to build a prototype, um, but then the other seven weeks are spent researching all the various hosting, billing, promoting options, and trying to integrate with them. And all of these services are critical to Roberto's business, but they're not cool. On the other side, uh, similarly, Mary, the business user, has to spend weeks trying out all these different software packages, harassing her IT guy to help her get the software set up, just so she can try it out. And after choosing the software and the vendor, then there's a hosting and configuration, which takes another couple weeks. So really, she doesn't actually get to start using the software you know, for a number of uh, weeks or sometimes months. So we have the seller, we have the buyer, and there's this huge gap between them. And this is where AppSembler comes in. We reduce this cycle um, to a one-click process. So instead of taking two months for the, the seller, we provide everything integrated on our platform. And similarly for the buyer, they can they can go and they can sample a bunch of different applications with one click, buy it, and get, and get support after that. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick 30 second or one minute demo so you can kind of see how it works. So first thing you would do is register your app, and then you just connect it with your GitHub account, and you pull in uh, your GitHub repository, and then you fill out um, a little bit of information, technical information about your app, this essentially creates a recipe for how your app is to be deployed. Then you can add some marketing information, you can upload a logo, add some screenshots, uh, a little blurb about your application, um, support link documentation, and then you save it. Um, then you're done. Then you connect it with your uh, Twitter account and you get a landing page like this with a free trial button. The next thing is to add a subscription plan. So here we're gonna charge $99 a month for this. You hit save. And immediately, your software is now available for sale, uh, where the end user can come in and provide the credit card information and get, get the software running on their platform. So this is pretty cool. Um, in summary, this allows you to start selling apps in minutes. Um, you just simply register your app, you do a test deploy, make sure it actually uh, deploys, you provide some marketing information, you create a subscription plan, and you're done. You can start selling right away. Uh, I know that screen class uh, flew by, uh, but if you're watching closely, you might have seen some Python in there. Anyone mm -hmm. notice that? This is like very small text. There was a comma that was missing? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, the framework that we're supporting right now is Django. Um, so if you're building the next game-changing Django app and want to go to market faster, we can help you. 
Um, or maybe you've always wanted to try a Django app, but you just don't know how to get it set up. Uh, you might be able to find it on it somewhere. Um, so we're a local Boston-based startup um, out of the Techstars Cloud Accelerator program. And we're also a finalist in uh, the Mass Challenge um, Startup Accelerator this year. Um, so we're changing the landscape uh, for who can be in the software business and how they bring products to market. So if you're interested in trying it out, we'd love to get feedback from people either on the seller side or on the buyer side. Um, or if you're interested in joining the team, please come talk to me.